We're here at the Robotic Storage System in Liberty University's library. And inside this area, we have about 4,000 bins holding a total of around 225,000 books. Each bin holds between 100 and 120 books. Um, the max capacity of this whole area will hold about 420,000 books when it's all full. Now, whenever a student needs a book that's in the robotic area, um, he or she will find that book on our website, and there's a little red button um, that says Request from the Robot. They just have to click that button and type in their student ID, and the robot um, will go and fetch the bin that that book is in, um, and then it should be available uh, at our front desk in about five to 10 minutes, which is a pretty quick turnaround. Students can request um, as many books as they want, and the books will be available for them for a few days up at the front desk so they can come and check them out. Storing has improved greatly for us. Uh, we currently have about 226,000 items in the system. Had we needed to build shelves in additional floor space, it would have cost seven times more in, uh, seven times more in dollars just to build the, the square footage to house that information. Um, but right now, as we see it, Having 226,000 items in the system has saved us a significant amount of space, a significant amount of time. It has sped up and uh, just an overall savings. Uh, so we're, we're still realizing some additional uh, benefits from the system. This book is right here. And so the student will just scan the book. It'll make sure we're correct, and then we'll print a ticket, and this ticket will go inside the book, and it'll be set aside for in our customer service area, so when the student is ready to pick up the book, they just tell them who they are, what the book is, and they'll give it back to them. It'll check out to them. And so in the reverse, what we do is when the book comes back, we scan it, pick the bin we're gonna store it in, confirm it, put it in the bin and it's ready to go. And all we have to do at this point is return it. We assign the percentage of the, how full the bin is and then we release it. We have basically um, five different bin sizes. We have six inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch and 18 inch bins. Uh, the majority of information that will be stored in here are the general, what we call the general items. They will fall between 10, 12, and 14 inches. We do have some media that is uh, microfiche, microfilm, DVDs, CDs, and we even have scores of music. Uh, they will be placed in certain size bins uh, as far as the musical scores. The six inch bins will contain the microfiche, microfilm, DVDs, and CDs. The uh, larger 18 inch bins, we will be storing museum pieces and any other large items that we may need to store long term. Down from the rack system, this sits on top of the whole uh, rack storage area. So we have three lifters. We have a total of five stations up here. Each lifter will service two stations with the exception of the number three, which services just one. Okay, when a student requests a book from our stations 
uh, out, out in the library. The request will pop up on our screen once the bin is loaded up here. So right here we have this um, compartment right here that is highlighted in pink. And that tells us what to look for in terms of the book. And so this is the book, 3763. So our workers will just scan the book and it'll confirm it. We say yes. Then it prints a ticket. And we just take the ticket, place it in the book, and then we will put it on the shelf out here and that will wait for the student to come up and identify who they are, what book they have requested, and then it will be checked out to them. Upon the reverse process, when the book come, needs to get back into the robotic system, we get the book. The book is what we call discharged from the student and taken off their account. And then we get the book back in here. We then take the book, we select for store. We'll scan the book. We will pick the compartment that we're gonna put it in. We say yes. And now that we're ready to return the bin, we say return. We select the percentage of the fullness of the bin, which is at 100. And we release it and we confirm it. And this is going to put the bin back into the rack. PLC monitor and so in the event that I need to take control of the uh, conveyor or the lifters I can do that from here and I do that by selecting the stations or I can select three and four or the fifth one on the end and I can also switch to the lifters where I can control the up and down and the positioning of the bins on the lifters for all three so no one really has access to this except me. We don't let our workers touch this. So this is merely for fixing issues that, we, that may pop up uh, in rare times. The ASRS is a uh, positive impact to the university, especially the library, um, because for one thing, it does save uh, one-seventh of the space as traditional bookshelving, such as behind me, which allows us to have a lot more space for casual seating, group study rooms. We also have a food court in the building, uh, and that wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have the ASRS. It also allows um, for students to retrieve books at a much quicker uh, space, uh, time frame. Usually, a lot of libraries uh, resort to off-site storage, so you might have to wait several days before you get your book. Uh, here, once you request your book from the ASRS, you'll have it within five to ten minutes, which is a huge uh, help to students who are writing papers and different things. At the Jerry Falwell Library, we have five viewing windows where you can see the ASRS. Uh, we also have uh, two webcams uh, connected to the cranes. So when you retrieve your book, you can see your book actually being retrieved from the system and coming to the customer service center where you'll be able to pick it up. When tours come to campus, uh, visitors and guests, uh, we have a window where you can make the robot do a dance and the robot will bring a, a special bin to a display window where you can see how the system works and the tour guides will explain the benefits uh, to the guest. Mm -hmm.